Hey folks, most of the time we tend to miss or not notice that there is an underlying defect which we are missing. Though it is not intentional, it happens. We cannot assure 100% defect free software, though a mistake should not be repeated. Having said that, in this session, let's understand what is defect leakage or bug leakage. So welcome to testing hacks and if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get more updates. So defect leakage occurs on the customer end or the user side after the delivery of the application. Once the application has been released to the client, if the end user gets an any kind of defect using the application it is called as defect leakage also it is known as bug leakage so in simple words suppose you have tested an application and you have missed a particular defect while you test that in that case it will go to the production right you have missed a defect and the production deployment happens and the end user or the client finds out that there is a defect in the application which has been missed. So that stage or that phase of the bug is known as defect leakage or the bug leakage. Defect leakage is a metric used by software testers to identify the efficiency of quality assurance or QA testing. It measures the percentage of defects leaked from the current stage of the testing to the next stage. So which means that whatever the uh, defects that are been missed from QA, okay, that will be calculated along with the defects that are found in the production. In order to calculate the total number of undetected defects or errors, software engineers follow an approach which is known as defect leakage, which helps them to calculate the total defects present in the software system. So, this is the formula to find the defect leakage number of defects found in the production versus number of defects found in QA testing. So for an example, if five defects were found during the production testing and in that 15 defects were found during the QA testing. So while testing uh, in QA environment, we have found there is a 15 defect and we got that fixed. And uh, it goes to the production, the code goes to the production and now the client has found there is five more defects which are present in the application. So how it will be calculated, the metric how it will be calculated is 15 divided by, uh, sorry, 5 divided by 15 which is 0 0.33. In turn, if we uh, multiply it by 100 which is 33 percentage of the defect has been missed which is actually not a good sign of QA testing. So also let's understand the reason why we miss or uh, what are the reasons for the defect leakage. Lack of test cases to cover satisfactory conditions, absence of specific test cases and review process. Because of unclear requirement poorly designed test case, incorrect deployment in UAT or production, so which led us to not validate something properly, use of incorrect test data. So these are the major reasons which causes the defect leakage. So this is all about defect leakage. If you have liked the video, please do like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.